even write it at all. I mean, like some people are genius <laughs> and they can remember anything that they they just look or memorize. They are good, but with others, some others, and even with with that level of smartness. I mean, like, so write them down. Write them down. It's much better, and it kind of goes on with the active reading and passive reading to like active actively saying something that you will do or like just passive reading so it's like active i mean if you write it down if you write it down you are like that's an action right there so you are more likely to do this number five number on day 12 card same yeah so the fifteen that I have is stay away from drama, stay away from conflict, it's not healthy, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't do anything to you to stay away from it. Like honestly, I mean like you can say one or two things about it. Maybe three things, but after that, you get into the drama and conflict. Think about the the slackgate incident that happened with Will Smith, Chris Rock, and his wife at the Oscar. I know that everybody like just kind of win the situation was at fault. Should the woman be actually? protected should I mean the argument was was that he was trying to protect his wife but some other people have come out like mm, mm, mm. is that really necessary I weigh in on the on the argument too like and then I was like, I don't think it's the right thing to have done at that moment. Because me, I was like, oh, you know, the proximity, like the distance between him and his wife then, than him walking to the, <laughs> walking to Chris Rock, the distance was so great. Like if the wife was offended, could have just comforted her because anything that he did after that it would, everybody was hurt by it <laughs> even the audience <laughs> even the audience even the audiences that were not present at the oscar that watch it i was hurt i was like i was waiting for my youtube for my video to be the front page but no <laughs> this lab didn't happen so, but anyways, that's beside the point. Yeah, that's beside the point. Um, stay away from conflict and drama. It's useless. I mean, I do. And you know, you in in this circle of life, and true, <laughs> this life, you are not going to not meet them. Yeah. You're not going to not meet conflicted people um dramatic people whether it, in family co-workers yeah whether it's your family um co-workers customer service relation friends school in all walks of life you're not you are not not going to meet them you are going to meet these people and like you just have to know know yourself and if you're not like that person that's like you know you have to be like really smart with your words or so, like out with them somewhere or out um yeah out do them somehow which might lose but you could uh, you could also do what Chris Brock did which is not responding actually waiting for a 
response like an explanation to the act like bro i thought we are cool i thought we were friends but you know but of course people can be friends and not be friends honestly this this century really got my head Or you can just act and as Chris Rock like then and give everybody silent treatment because everybody was expecting him to respond and I think maybe he responded after four or five days after the incident. I mean like so many people praise him for how is he calmed down, like if he he acted the bigger, he acted the bigger person, really. And you know, the, he was, I saw some video of, some footage of the video after the incident. And you know, you can, you can see it, like how hurt and shocked and offended he looked. And I'm like, I don't think that's what anybody was going for, but that was what the celebration turned out to be. Like, I was like, maybe this is my week, like, my, my, my page, my video is going to show up on the YouTube algorithm and then be on the front page, but no. So stay away from conflict, it's useless, it drains energy, and any kind of it, maybe it's like gossiping or backbiting <laughs> it's something that's the only point it's just this that's just a simple way to put it stay away from comfort you will breathe better trust me you will breathe be better it's also important not to not to be the conflicting one or the one that is so hard to get along with and please do not confuse being conflicting or being yeah being conflicting versus respect because sometimes people be like oh but he was being respectful he was doing this and that like you people you know people know who is the conflicted or conflicting person don't be conflicting don't be dramatic if things happen there are better ways to solve it and resulting to abuse, violence, and whatnot. There are better ways. Trust me, there are better ways. And you'll be more happy with it. And, and my fifth, no, my sixth is do not blame yourself for something that is out of your control that don't blame yourself for it something happened it's nature the rain <laughs> the rain fall and you are and you already planned your day with your friends and now you start getting mad no why it's beyond you it's nature calling so don't blame yourself for something that you can't control or maybe you start saying oh maybe if i had planned earlier if we had gone this if we had gone that way if we have a cut you know you start making like oh if 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 this if that don't do that to yourself you can if you cannot control it then you can't and i don't think there's anything that you will do at the moment that world except like just relax keep calm if you need to like profess it out loud yourself or find something else to do do that but do not because once you start going to that kind of thing oh i'm going to oh it's all my fault it does it that then like what are you really telling yourself you want to say as much positive affirmations to yourself than you need it from someone else to say it to you.
you need to say it to yourself too. It's good to hear it, but please remember to say it, to put that positive notion out there. It's not your fault. I mean, sometimes it's hard. Like, especially if you're trying, if you maybe there is a slight chance, but again, I said slight chance. But honestly, even at that slight chances, I guess like every situation is different. If you're going to do like 60, 70, 80 percent blame yourself for what happened that you can't control, don't do it. If it's like oh, I'm five percent at fault here, yeah. five percent is quite low, but eighty percent, hmm. So honestly, if it's beyond your control, don't do it. Don't do it. Be your own best friends. Be your own best friend. Or better, you can have like a close-knit circle of friends that you have that you create and that you know the friends that you say oh how are you how are you doing blah 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 and then you get that like friends that you are in relations with that you are in talking terms with so yeah have that good connections because even if you're not on talking terms with those people anymore one day you might come across each other again so oh i'm Da, 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 and you start talking and you know that's like the same acquaintance but close-knit as in like people that you regularly talk with it might not be every day maybe every week maybe every other day maybe like um you call them once in a while you've known each other since like 10 years ago and you keep that relation have those like they said if you have one or two clo one or two close and true friends you are lucky so so remember and i'll say it is pretty right if you have one or two friends that is close to you that you know go out of their way for you take care of you you know do every every, every of these things for you keep them and go out and be friendly with them be so i have to change my car around here today because like i ran out like friends that are supportive of like what you do maybe in terms of like your work or like they help you in generally many or every stuff that you everything that you do so keep them why not keep them and even if they're not very close, maybe like they are countries away, miles away, and you are, and I'm talking about this in like long-term friendships kind of thing, like say you moved away from your town, and you still want to be close with the friends that you've made, because honestly, like sometimes, being having friends or having that social relations or being an extrovert adds a lot to do with how well you know the area that you are at. Imagine moving from a a place that you've known for fifteen years. You build with them, you have friends, you you know, you basically done so much and then you suddenly move. Now you don't have to start over in a to in another place that you move to you can as well bring thanks for technology you can as well bring everything that you own everything that you learn every every or these people with you you can text through whatsapp facebook yeah just to keep in touch say oh hey hi yes Keep in touch. Okay, so that's what I mean. Like keep in touch with people that, because 
15 years is no joke if you have like lived in a place that you've spent your entire life like that's basically spending 15 years in a place it's like almost an entire life yeah the eighth item on the list challenge yourself it's a growth measure it's actually help you grow like if you challenge yourself maybe to something that you are uncomfortable with or something that is new you know i know the last pandemic so many people reach out to so many others maybe their family members or friends that they haven't spoken to in like years or something like that people call out and like oh i remember you how are you doing you know even like in challenging in a way that even people that are that they are not on talking terms with that's why i mentioned family and friends like you know on top in talk you're not on talking terms with these people but during the pandemic you know like there is this reference to go back i mean like life is too short why would you you know and people like call each other i mean I, I bet some friendships or like some kind of relations are rekindled during the pandemic i mean if you are in your house all day and you know nobody is coming to visit you the phone is right there so like it's not letting your guard down i get i would say that it's been humble like picking up the phone at that period of time and say, hi, how are you doing? I hope you and your family are doing well in this um, difficult times, blah, 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 and hit it up right then. Again, that's another challenge. I mean, I did that to myself, and I got quite a few responses from like, people, and you know, you don't even have to act like you are trying to like maybe you're trying to make amends somewhere it's like oh hi how are you like you know casual like as if you talk to them maybe like even maybe a week or two weeks ago you don't have to act like oh i'm trying to make amends somewhere but like, just message or like a not a formal message, it's still going to be like an informal message. Oh, how are you doing there? You know? It counts. They say distance counts. People remember how you make them feel more than what you do. If you make them feel good, if you make them feel wanted, if you make them feel forgiven, they will like you and be closer to you more. Maybe not physically as you will want, but mentally, emotionally, they will be more inclined to be closer. Challenge yourself. A way that you could actually do this greeting or challenging or trying to reconcile a relationship is that maybe you're doing Easter celebration or Christmas, or eat celebration or Ramadan, you message people again like, oh, you no, know, it's a beautiful time of the year. I just want to share this thing with you, you know, something like that. Again, it's not letting your girl the girl down, just humbleness and being again being the bigger person as it. And there are a lot of ways to challenge yourself. Maybe you want to start going to gym, or maybe you want to like start eating healthy, healthy, or maybe you want to like start drinking eight cups a day. Anything new, anything that will fulfill your purpose, as in, or maybe anything that you will make you feel better. That's another way to put it. Challenge yourself. Try new things, try odd train odd things, try strange things and or maybe in this Ramadan you want to like read the entire Quran. I mean like I'm at Surat al Hujrat. No, I read Surat al Hujrat. I finished Hakka Zariat. No, not that. Why not just search and 
because I remember I just finished hardcore, which is the 50th, the 50th. Come on, what's going on today? I don't know why my, why is my. I'm pretty sure it's the surah after surah to cough. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's. Because my phone is not opening it for me now, so I'm pretty sure it's the story after so to look. So challenging yourself by having that mindset to finish the Quran, and it might also be like you know you want you've been wanting to start this business. Again, you've been thinking about it. Why not act about it? Why not act on it? You've been thinking so much that it hurts your brains. So just go ahead and and act on it. Act on what you are thinking, because that's when you start getting, you start learning. Because you can think, <laughs> you can think all day that all day and as much as you want. But you know, except that you're thinking about it and you're maybe mentally straightening your um, cerebral functions acting on it will actually bring out the learning process and the learning curves and what you need to do and part of challenging is reducing cravings maybe even part of the challenges might be that for us muslims or for many other religions after madan or after the fasting period they might want to like continue the fasting you know fasting the like during the day of the day of hijra fasting the sister fat, fasting the sister to shawal you know that's we we all know the benefit that it's like fasting the sister to shawal after the ramadan like Immediately after the Ramadan, the next day, you the next six days you actually fast it. The sister to shower, it's like fasting for the whole year. So you might want to challenge yourself for that. People that are done like one day, two days before. People that are done one day. People that are done two days, three days, four days, five days before, uh, or or even like come close like that, and they want to go to completed it, this will be a good chance that you can challenge yourself you know work on your spiritual or maybe fasting um monday thursdays there are a lot of days that you can fast i know it's so hard to keep up sometimes but but you always you always remember monday and thursdays just you can do that maybe you do that maybe fast um two Mondays or two Thursdays in a month, that's better than nothing. Even fasting one day like that in a month is better than nothing. I mean, we all don't know. We all don't know how God is going to have mercy on us or how Allah is going to um, accept or what, what that thing that we will do that will make him forgive us all our sins and you know and admit us to the garden of bliss Jenna Jenna to the house honestly we don't we don't know what we might do that will be the thing that will cause us to enter our Jenna we don't know so take your chances Take your chances, because we only have, we, we only have this, this, we only have now, really. The time that you have is now. There is no other time besides now. After now, there is nothing. So take, challenge yourself, take the chance and fast. And maybe you want to like challenge and do the hydro, you know all those. Do it. Oh, challenge yourself is number nine. Ten is 
don't linger in bad situations. I know, like, I know, like, some people can be uh, quite addicted, addicted to circumstances. I mean, we've all been guilty. I've, I've been guilty of it. Like, I see myself in a situation and I'm like, oh, why do I need to do this? Why do I need to make amends? Why do I need to change? Why do I need to do this? It, it wouldn't hurt. It's for your sanity. It means for your health. It's honestly, it's for you. You see a bad situation. Get out of it. I mean, bad situations are like different. Being in a bad situation, I, I, I don't mean being a, by, a bystander to something that you could have. Yeah, being in a bad situation, I don't mean being a bystander or being a facilitator of offense or being a perpetrator of offense that you see that you clearly could have intervened and you didn't. I don't mean like in that situation. I mean, if you can't do anything, of course, leave the situation, but don't, don't um, add insults to an unhealing pain. Like if you can't do a, if you can't say any good, or if you can't help them with, if you can't help with the situation, don't add insult to unhealing pain. To, to injury like say that you saw someone that who was choking and that's a challenging situation right there it's not even a bad situation I mean depending on how you say it if you can do CPR of course you can intervene in that way but if you cannot do anything don't say anything back and don't add fuel to injury don't add insult to injury. That's basically what I say. And last but not the least, live peacefully, live harmoniously, live softly. Yes, I was watching the Indiani episode that um, Bisola Yola did, and the girl, I think. I forgot her name. She made podcast content. She she's also a content creator, and she made pod podcast. I'm pretty sure. So she says something about live softly. Like honestly, live softly, live peacefully, live harmoniously, live responsibly, but mostly live softly live softly so live softly you know be kind to yourself it comes back to being kind to yourself like putting yourself first you know don't be like grand grand like you know aggressive live softly like live softly <laughs> how else can i explain that live soft yes so of course this is not the only ones do as a as an individual but of course these are the few ones that i have that i followed and one more thing i want to say like i listen to rain sounds i haven't listened to it in a long time but i listen to rain sounds or like some kind of like nature singing like birds there are so many videos of that on youtube and they quite have like many views like Listening to rain is beautiful. It calms you. You can try it. So that's part of living softly. Live softly. Live harmoniously. Like the energy will radiate. People will come to you and be like, Ah, oh, can I hug you? You just have this aura, this energy that is soft around you. So let's remember to live softly. Note this down act on it i mean i said 11 things on here and you might you might just work um to do like maybe you might be successful with maybe two or three it's again it's a work in progress okay so and for that thank you and and don't forget to like subscribe share 
uh, give me a thumbs up, please. I'm really trying to grow the channel. It's a lot of work, so I'm really counting on you. Come on. We all need that.